T minus 28. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Teacher Sim. All systems are go. T minus 15 seconds and counting. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have liftoff of Tedris M on the Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41. Tedris M securing space to ground communication for NASA's low Earth orbit operations, including the International Space Station. United Launch Alliance Denver Network Operations Center and Command well. Control Center. Pump speeds and injector pressures all looking good. Now we have data coming directly from the rocket. Flight. The Atlas rocket carrying t uh, nominal reached supersonic trip. speed at 1 minute and 20 seconds into flight. Now passing 1 minute into flight. The vehicle is now 3 miles in altitude and traveling at 1,100 miles per hour. Standing by for max Q. Or now max passing 1 minute and 15 seconds into flight. 32 seconds into flight. Mach 1, Alice 5 is now supersonic. One minute, 30 seconds into flight. Now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. This is the point when mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by the atmosphere. The RD 180 has throttled down to 95% thrust as expected. Engine response looks good. This engine thrust profile will continue until the vehicle reaches a program 5G acceleration limit. About two minutes into the flight of that. passing two minutes into flight, approximately two minutes remaining in the first stage of flight. Vehicle trajectory. Traveling right down the middle of the range track, looking good. RD-180 engine operating parameters also looking good. Booster engine cutoff slated for four minutes, two seconds after launch. The Atlas V rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of almost 2,600 pounds per second. And vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance. Now passing two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. and RCS pyro valve has been fired. Centaur reaction control system now pressurizing the flight levels. Atlas V is now 30 miles in altitude, 43 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,700 miles per hour. And now passing three minutes into flight, approximately one minute remaining until booster engine cutoff. RD-180 continues to perform well. Vehicle trajectory continuing down the middle of the range track. ULA's Patrick Moore providing vehicle ascent data. Three minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Now passing three minutes, 30 seconds into flight. Mach 10. And vehicle has reached the 5G throttle limit. And we've begun boost phase chill down. Less than 30 seconds away from booster engine cutoff. Three minutes, 50 seconds into flight, standing by for BCO momentarily. Six seconds after BCO, the Centaur second stage will separate from the Atlas booster. And we have BCO, booster engine cutoff, standing by for stage step. Ten seconds after separation. We have good indication of stage separation. The Centaur single RLC engine ignites for the first time. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. The RL-10 produces 22,900 pounds of thrust and burns for just under eight minutes. And we have good indication of fairing separation. 
This is the first of two planned burns for today's mission. This first burn should last approximately 13 minutes and 40 seconds. The payload fairing protecting Tedros M during its flight through the atmosphere and has RL10 been engine operating parameters all looking good. Vehicle trajectory continuing down the middle of the range track. The Centaur is now 107 miles in altitude, 350 miles downrange distance, traveling at 11,160 miles per hour. And the reaction control system has begun periodic firings to maintain thermal conditioning as expected. The Centaur propellant utilization system has gone to closed loop control. Now passing five minutes, 30 seconds into flight. Initial look at booster performance shows a near nominal performance. Uh, data quality continuing to look good from this uh, initial phase of flight. Now passing six minutes into flight, the Centaur is now 145 miles in altitude, 560 miles downrange distance, traveling at 11,500 miles per hour. Now passing six minutes, 30 seconds into flight, RL-10 continuing to perform well. Uh, chamber pressures and pump pressures all looking good. About 11 minutes remaining in the Centaur burn prior to MECO-1. And vehicle body rates all remaining very stable for uh, this first Centaur burn. And the periodic RCS firings for thermal conditioning have warmed up the RCS lines to, uh, to near bottle temperatures. And engine pressure is all continuing to remain very stable, looking good. Centaur is now 173 miles in altitude, 815 miles downrange distance, traveling at 12,000 miles per hour. Eight minutes into the flight of Tetris M. Centaur upper stage continuing with its burn. And the RL-10 is operating as expected now, uh, making slight modifications to the propellant utilization. Now passing eight minutes, 30 seconds into flight, RL-10 continuing to perform very well. Vehicle trajectory continuing down the middle of the range track. Centaur is now 187 miles in altitude, 1,080 miles downrange distance, traveling at 12,800 miles per hour. Computer graphics showing the Tetris M spacecraft atop uh, the Centaur upper stage. Everything continues to go well. Nine minutes, 22 seconds into flight. 
here inside the Atlas Space Flight Operations Center at the Mission Director Center, mission managers watching the progress of the liftoff today. And RL-10 continuing to perform well. Uh, Centaur PU requesting a near nominal mixture ratio. This is the Launch Control Center inside the Space Flight Operations Center. The team of launch engineers that successfully saw to the liftoff of Atlas and Centaur. Now passing 10 minutes into flight. Centaur is now 190 miles in altitude, 1,360 miles downrange distance, traveling at 13,700 miles per hour. And vehicle trajectory uh, continuing down the middle of the range track. RCS activity is as expected, continuing with periodic firings to maintain thermal conditioning of the system. Just about seven minutes remaining in the Centaur first burn today, taking the Tetra spacecraft to its initial point in space. Now passing 11 minutes, 30 seconds into flight, RL-10 continues to perform very well. Uh, chamber pressure is uh, remaining stable, looking good within expected ranges. Uh, propellant utilization system continuing to request a near nominal mixture ratio. And RCS firings continuing periodically as planned to maintain thermal conditioning. And the Centaur is now 178 miles in altitude, 1,790 miles downrange distance, traveling at 15,200 miles per hour. Patrick Moore from United Launch Alliance providing vehicle ascent commentary for us. And we are just about five minutes away from second stage now passing Centaur 13 engine. minutes into, into flight, approximately five minutes remaining in this uh, first Centaur burn. About five minutes away from the second stage main engine cutoff. After that, there will be a long coast phase, which will last approximately 90 minutes before spacecraft separation. Now passing 13 minutes, 50 seconds into flight. Centaur is now 153 miles in altitude, 2,290 miles downrange distance, traveling at 17,000 miles per hour. And approximately four minutes remaining in this first Centaur burn, RL-10 continues to perform very well. Uh, Engine pressure is all remaining stable. Centaur propellant utilization system uh, continuing to actively control. 
and RCS periodic firings continuing on as planned. Body rates in uh, pitch on roll all remaining very stable near zero. Just about three minutes remaining in this Centaur burn. Now passing 15 minutes into flight, approximately three minutes remaining to a nominal MECO. And now passing 15 minutes, 25 seconds into flight, Centaur is now 130 miles in altitude, 2,730 miles downrange distance, traveling at 18,800 miles per hour. And now passing 16 minutes into flight, approximately two minutes remaining to a nominal MECO. And Centaur uh, engine operating parameters continue to look good. RCS system continuing to perform well. Uh, periodic firings for thermal conditioning are continuing as planned. And the reaction control system lines are uh, very close to bottle temperature as expected. Just about one minute left in this burn of the Centaur engine. Now passing 17 minutes into flight. Less than one minute remaining to a nominal MECO time. Centaur is now 3,250 miles downrange distance, traveling at just over 21,000 miles per hour. and launch vehicle is now orbital. Now passing 17 minutes, 30 seconds into flight. Standing by for MECO-1 momentarily. And we have cut off. And we have engaged the 4S settling on the thrusters. Body rates remaining stable after shutdown. Actual MECO time occurring very close to predicted MECO time as expected.